The one thing that you need to overcome social anxiety so that you don't give up and you don't quit is you need to be making progress and you need to be aware of what progress is. So I'm going to give you an example and I'm going to explain why it works on every level, you know, physiologically, psychologically, uh, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and how your whole sort of thinking and mindset and your whole self-esteem derives from the progress that you're making. Or it can go the opposite way. If you're not making any progress, then you're not going to overcome it. You're probably going to lose motivation. You're going to isolate yourself away from people. You're going to stop socializing. You're going to close down and get depressed. So. Progress is really about looking at the small little bits of improvement. So let me give you an example. Let's say for someone who's got such really bad social anxiety, they can't go into Tesco's and make eye contact with a, with a person at the checkout and buy some shopping. They might put their head down and be awkward. So progress, if I was working with a client, how progress, the way, how progress would look like was maybe the next time they go in or the third time, they can look up and just, you know, um, make eye contact for a bit and then look away and say thank you have a great day that's progress progress is when you're able to do a little bit more than you did last time progress is also the, um, how you perform so when I coach clients through social anxiety I really look closely at how they're performing so if they're really closed up when they first meet me and we work together and they're quiet and they're anxious as opposed to the next session or the next few sessions, if they're smiling and they're more open, they're more honest, they're more expressive, they've made progress. So it's really about having the awareness, not being hard on yourself at all. You can encourage yourself, you can be tough on yourself in a good way, but not judging, not putting yourself down. Because if you do that, you just get depressed, you feel bad, you feel ashamed, and then you stop socializing. So obviously, um, to get straight to the point, the way you overcome social anxiety is, is, is you have to socialize long term. You have to keep talking to people and working through the anxiety, the awkwardness. You've got to go through days where you do get nervous, you do get awkward, you do get a bit shy. And you can't let that beat you. And that's what will take you to days where you don't get awkward, where you are confident, you can express yourself, you do feel relaxed, you're not overthinking, you're not, time goes quicker, you're enjoying it with a person, you can connect better, you can listen better. So the whole progress around, you know, being braver, doing a little bit more than you did last time, like I said, another example, progress would be, let's say, since COVID-19 and lockdown, you've become really isolated, you're nervous, and you can't seem to get yourself to go to a job interview. Now, with my coaching or with you pushing yourself watching my videos, if you can get yourself to go to a job interview, uh, after not going to one for a year or three years, that's progress. Progress is all about the action you take, Progress is all about you improving within the action that you take, performing better, having more confidence, getting better control over your anxiety. So that's why progress is so important because I know from my own journey with facing social anxiety and improving it and overcoming it, when I make progress, it makes me feel so good about myself. It gives me so much confidence to then go into another situation and be even better. So the more progress you're making, the more motivated you are to continue socializing and facing the fear of people and, and speaking in all platforms, whether it's dating, life, business, work, family, you know, just from day to day, going in Starbucks. So it's not just the fact of socializing, that is progress, but it's, it's how confident are you when you're expressing yourself. So obviously you've got to be patient, right? You've got to, you've got to, um, you can't expect just to be confident in it straight away. So that's really the most important thing. And I've seen it over this channel. I've been coaching for almost 11 years now, where if guys are not making any progress, or if they can't see progress, or they're not aware that that's the thing they need to feel better and to keep them motivated and driven and not to throw the towel in, metaphorically speaking, from a boxing analogy, not to quit, not to give up. Because people never give up, usually, when their social relationships are going well, or their conversations, or their less awkward or less nervous with people or they're more um you know more present they don't give up on under those terms they give up when they get awkward or when they get disappointed or they were nervous in a situation and they beat themselves up and they get embarrassed so it's really about getting more motivated i, I make my clients more motivated and driven when it doesn't go well at a talk or an event or a date or a job interview or in any social situation or in front of the camera so it's really about having that mentality and that drive and turning all of your perceived disappointments and failures and what you might call, oh, I, I'm embarrassed myself or I got awkward or I couldn't speak or I couldn't look the person in the eye. You turn that, all that negativity into only positivity. 
but you can only do that through choosing to want to make it positive, to want to change the, the social mistakes that you perceive to be a mistake into successes. And that is done for a process of obviously having progress. Now, if you can't do it on your own, this is when you should think about getting a confidence coach like myself or someone online or someone eventually in person that can facilitate, have, have, hold you accountable and help you to make progress and see the progress that you're making. And sometimes you have to see and say, well, why am I not making progress? What are the things that I'm not doing which are sabotaging um, my ability to overcome social anxiety, build confidence, self-esteem, improve social skills and happiness and well-being and all the rest of it? Then you can identify where is this pattern that's holding me back. Usually for my clients it's the pattern of procrastination, of doing nothing, of isolating because the fear just gets the better of you, it overwhelms you, it overtakes you and then you can't get past it. So that's it, I hope you got a lot out of this video today. It's changed my life personally in my own life it's changed my clients life on all the programs i do and i know it can do the same for you all right i'll speak to you guys soon fearless